What's up, YouTube? Here is to Profe YouTube with my first video in English, and this is gonna be awesome. Now we're talking about we're gonna talk about linear transformations from a non-canonical way, and this is the data that we have. We have base one, base two, as you can see in board, and you have these transformation metrics also. And we're gonna need to find the transformation on a canonical way. Now we need to follow three simple steps. The first one is to find a vector on base one which is going to help us to find the transformation the linear transformation on base 2 as you can see you multiply the transformation matrix from b1 to b2 multiplied by this vector the vector that we just found and that will give us the transformation the linear transformation on base 2 now since we this is not what we're looking for what we need is transformation on a canonical way and this is how you express it so you need to multiply the transformation on base 2 as a linear combination of base 2 and that will give you the transformation of a canonical way in a canonical base I'm sorry about that <laughs> so this is this is it and this is what we're gonna find so let's get to it first of all we need to find this vector on base 1 so we're going to call this vector x and y and it's going to be on base 1 that will be equal to a which is a constant a constant that we're going to find and we're going to place the vectors of base 1 by the constants a and b and we need to find the result you know the the result for a and b so we're going to do this little math here and we're going to cancel out this b because we're taking one uh, for, uh, subtracting one equation from the other and what we got here is that x minus y over 2 that's equals to a so now we uh, are going to uh, replace it for the a on the second equation because it's easier you can do it in the other way the other way as, as you as you can see and we need to find b so we solve for b and uh, we'll, be, we'll, we'll do a little math here multiply 2 by y and this is what we get 2y plus x not minus x plus plus y I'm sorry over 2 that's the answer of p and we do a little math here and we add 2y 2y and get 3y minus x over 2 that's the answer for b so now we have our vector for the second step we need to multiply this um, well, we need to find the transformation on base two. On base two, and th and for this, we need to multiply the transformation matrix for this vector, the vector we just found. You know the answer for a and b, of course. So that's what we're gonna do. Minus two zero zero one times. Okay, our vector x minus y over two. Three y minus x over two. And we do the math here, you know, minus 2 times x minus y over 2. Okay, that'll give us a transformation on base 2. Okay, so we're doing the math now here. So, minus 2 times y minus x minus y over 2, that'll give you, uh, you know, the 2, two both, uh, number 2 cancel out and the sign changes, so you get y minus x. That's, uh, that's uh, the multiplication and then 0 times 3y minus x over 2 that's 0 so we go to the next row and we get 0 plus 3y minus x over 2 and that is the transformation on base 2 but you know since this is we're gonna put it there since this is not what we're looking for what we're looking for is the transformation on a canonical way we need to multiply it or we need to make a linear combination so we can find the transformation of um, of this transformation on base 2 so what we what we're gonna do here is use uh, the vectors of base 2 and multiply it by the coordinates of the vector we just found in the step number 2 in step number 2 so we multiply y minus x times 0 and then you get 0 and then you multiply 3y minus x times minus 1 and we get minus 3y plus x equals 2 uh, over 2 
course. And we do the same for the for the second row. Y minus X minus X times two. And this is the result. And uh, it's two times uh, three Y minus X over two times one. I'll give you this. And um, this is just it. We just found the result. This is just a little math that we're gonna do here. You know to you know to add up the uh, the terms that can be added or subtract. Mm. Then you get the answer. And this is the final answer. There is nothing to do here. Nothing more to do here. That's x minus three y over two, and the other is 7y minus x over 2 and that's the transformation in a canonical base. Thank you very much for watching. Show your love. Thank you very much. We will see you next time with more videos in English. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me.